Non-destructive editing is a critical part of any high-quality workflow. What is it and how do you apply it? Let's find out. Adjustment layers are the most common examples of non-destructive editing in Photoshop. They give us the ability to modify and undo changes to the image even after it has been saved and closed. Let's open up a file. We'll go to our Chapter 5 folder and select the Adjustment Layers image. Now I'd like to direct your attention to the bottom right portion of the screen where you find our Layers panel. And for the very first time, we have a series of Adjustment Layers. We've got a Curves Adjustment Layer, Photo Filter, and Hue Saturation. Now we've worked with each of these three tools before. The difference this time is that they've been applied as adjustment layers. Well, what's so great about adjustment layers? The answer, a lot. If I move over here to the layers panel, I can turn the visibility of each of these adjustment layers on and off independently. If I click on this eye icon, I'm temporarily disabling the effect of this adjustment layer. I'm not throwing anything away, I'm not tossing them out, I'm simply temporarily hiding their effect. So with all three of these turned off, you can see how the image looked before I started making any edits. I'm going to turn these three back on. Another great feature of adjustment layers is that at any point after they've been created, you can modify them. If I double click anywhere in this curves adjustment layer, we open up an adjustments panel and you see our curves interface that looks remarkably similar to curves that we've used in previous lessons and the behavior is identical. You can see how I've modified the shape of the curve. The highlights have opened up a little bit and I've brought the shadows down just a hair but there's nothing preventing me from going up clicking on the on image adjustment tool clicking and dragging somewhere in the image and further modifying that effect. Another great thing that you can do with adjustment layers is change their overall strength or opacity. If I move back to the layers panel, with the curves adjustment layer selected, it's highlighted in blue, I'm going to click on the word opacity. Right now it's at 100% or full strength. If I type in a lower value, 30% in this case, you can see how much that reduces the overall strength of the adjustment layer. I'm going to set this opacity back to 100%. I think it works fairly well with this image. If you find yourself completely unhappy with the result of an adjustment layer, you can simply get rid of it, delete it. If I go back down to our curves adjustment layer and right click on the PC, control click on the Mac, I can scroll down and select delete layer. Now that layer is gone as if it never existed. I'd like to point out that in the layers panel right now you're just seeing small generic adjustment layer icons, these little black and white cookie shapes. If we go to the flyout menu in layers and scroll down to panel options, we can choose a larger thumbnail size. I'll choose one in the middle, we'll hit OK, and now we can see the individual icons for our adjustment layers. It's up to you whether you'd like to work with these small generic icons or larger ones. For our recording purposes, I'm going to go back into panel options and reset this for our smaller thumbnail size. But feel free to use whichever one you prefer. In our next lesson, we're going to continue working on this image. But for right now, I'd like for you to close this file without saving it, then reopen it so we can begin the next lesson with the image back in its original state.